These lots of rich owns the news companies. They own the media. And here we see many different lies and slander that they've told about me. CBS, NBC, and even CBC. And here's a retort that we made. The body electric is thus also made of electrons, protons, and other particles. It would make sense then to anyone that knows this that this should be used in medicine to measure the body electric and to develop therapies that are to do with electronics. If therefore a scientist were able to develop and perfect a machine such as this, it would be logical that it wouldn't be so popular with those people that were profiting from drugs. What would happen if the same scientist who found or invented a machine like that were to also find and prove that synthetic drugs, chemicals, were incompatible with the human body, that it caused harm to the human body? Yes, there were immediate healing effects, relief of symptoms, but it caused serious harm, long-term damage, and even killed people. What would happen to this scientist? How do you think that this elite group of medical scientists, people that were working with pharmaceuticals, that owned pharmaceuticals, would react to this scientist? I would say to you, and I put to you, that they would be incredibly protective and they would hate this scientist. Desiree is the man who left America to find freedom and who is no longer a man, but possibly an angel. Yes, an angel. Well, here at the International Medical University, we have made a real science of sport performance enhancement, scholastic ability enhancement, intellect enhancement. To be able to show that GSRT, DCS, galvanic skin resistance, transcranial direct current stimulation, a technology that auto-focuses a cybernetic loop of stimulating and testing so that we get an enhancement of insight, sport, coordination, speed, memory, injury, pain relief, and many, many more things. Here's just one of the many different studies we did using chess, where the recipients who got the stimulation were superior at the chess game. In our chess study, there was a double blind. We gave stimulation to one player, and the other one got placebo. Nobody knew it was an actual double blind, but in every case, in over 40 different trials, the player getting the stimulation was able to defeat his opponent. Professor X uses GSRT DCS, so why don't you? Many different studies published all over the world in prestigious magazines have shown this cranial stimulation effect and how it could increase sport performance, coordination, strength, stamina, speed. And it's validated, verified, is safe and effective. And we have an entire course to teach this, the GSR TDCS therapist course. Now let's review some of the press. Starting your mind, an experimental device with stimulating the brain is getting attention. Dr. Suri Lasanbi is director of the Brain Stimulation Division at Duke University School of Medicine. We're pleased to have her. She's also chairman of the Department of Psychiatry. Uh, tell us what the principle is at stake here. Uh, well, this is uh, TDCS, which stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation, right. and the principle is we know that the brain operates on electricity. Uh, this is a brain stimulator which non-invasively uses weak electrical currents that literally come out of a battery that are modulated by this device, and you put it on the scalp, and it polarizes the brain, uh, making brain areas uh, uh, charged and more closer to the threshold where you can bring them online or use them to do things like um, memory function or modulating your mood, for example. Hi, welcome back to Sourcefoot. I'm Lee Newton. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Good news, Lee. 
I'm about to get even hotter. To you, that is. A crack team of researchers at the California Institute of Technology studying deep brain simulation have found that electric currents make the brain cells more excitable, which, in turn, makes a whole lot of other things more excitable, if you catch my drift. The study was conducted by administering 99 study participants with a transcranial direct current stimulation for 15 minutes. The participants got into an fMRI machine both before and after the brain shock and were shown faces. After the zapping, participants found the faces more attractive. This is mostly in part to the electric current stimulation of the midbrain, which is a source of dopamine that is associated with the rating of attractiveness. Many studies have shown that GSR TDCS is enhancing beauty, intellect, sport, and health without any drugs. GSR TDCS is stimulating sports abilities, intellect, beauty. Beauty is in the mind of the behold and in the mind of the beheld. Now let's listen to Novak Djokovic's story. Getting weaker and then all of a sudden the, the, the vision um, you know, it became different. I didn't see the court as wide as it was at the beginning of the match. And, uh, you know, I had blurred vision. I, uh, you know, I couldn't catch breath after, um, after each point was finished. And Did you have any physical issues going into this match or were there things that crept up during the match? Yeah, just a couple of things, but nothing major really. I don't, I don't want to talk about that. Does it match maybe also summarize, you know, the way of coming back, how difficult it is to actually come back on the level you want? So ups and downs. It is difficult. Many things in life are difficult. Between fourth and fifth set, I went out to to throw up and um, felt my stomach was was aching. I felt my you know energy was so low, and I was just my nose was blocked, and there was plenty of things going on. And that was not the first time. It's pressure, and when you mix it all together, you get formula that is causing you to. Uh, to really experiencing, experience some, some major health problems and issues on the court. And, and because of it, I, I was retiring matches and I was, uh, uh, it took me a lot of time to recover. You said you weren't gonna play grass. You didn't know if you were gonna play I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I really don't know, I just came from the court. I, I don't know, sorry guys, I cannot give you that answer. I don't know, I cannot give you any answer, so. Something inside was holding Novak back. He could not reach his true potential. Tell me about a doctor that was watching that tournament on television that changed everything for you. Yes, his name is uh, Igor Tretojevic, and um, uh, Dr. Igor uh, reached out to uh, people that uh, <clears throat> we have some friends in common. Dr. Igor ran to meet me in Budapest. We worked together and came up with a special program to try to help. Novak. Igor had lectured for us many different times and basically we put together something to change Novak. Dr. Igor Chetovic and he has actually watched that match in Australian Open earlier that year and he felt the need to to get in touch with me and to help me out and um, he received the data that I have a great sensitivity on gluten, no celiac disease but great sensitivity intolerance to gluten to dairy products and, and obvious to refined sugar. Here's a copy of the allergy report from our machine that had shown his allergies and sensitivities. In order to get him to peak performance, we had to deal with this, especially gluten. And we used our device and our technology to help to address Novak's problems. And you know, when I met him, I, I did a couple of sessions, and I and I and I, um, you know, felt really a big difference. Um, that's that was the first time that I got introduced to the quantum uh, quantum physics, to the quantum field world, to the biofeedback. He had a, a, all this analysis and overview of of my emotional body, of my mental body, of my physical body, on all the food allergies and everything that I was experiencing. Our quantum biofeedback technology is going to measure the body electric. And when we find different aberrations in the body electric, heartbeat, voltage, amperage resistance, your pH pressure, when we find out these little things that are wrong, we can fix them electrically. A type of system where we can scan the body and find out little problems, little electrical energetic aberrations and with gentle electrical stimulation, fix them. And it was using this that we were able to find 
Novak's sensitivities and to help get him to maximum performance. And so we started slowly uh, taking off layer by layer and really going, uh, going deep into, um, into things that are related to my health and trying to understand what is the core of it. So, of course, diet was one of the most integral uh, part of the problem. My name is Dr. Igor Tretovic. Igor has lectured for us as part of the Most International of the Medical University. Here's a copy of his international license that he got in Romania. Igor and the quantum biofeedback technology turned around Novak's career. He just exploded. Where Wimbledon has a new men's tennis champion. Novak Djokovic overcame Rafael Nadal in four sets to take his first title at the All England Club. Djokovic has been winning all year and it seems winning breeds a winning confidence. His performance that of a cutting edge athlete with an extraordinary ability to cover distances across the court at speed. He had the belief and the strength to soak up whatever the defending champion sent down the lines. Down a set in three games, Nadal urgently needed to get on the scoreboard. And finally, fortune smiled, albeit momentarily, because despite some wonderful athleticism from Nadal, Djokovic took the next two games for the set. Stunning tennis from the fourth that is Novak Djokovic, Wimbledon had a new champion. The sweet taste of success, his applause from family, friends, and even the Serbian president rang out around Wimbledon's centre court. After Wimbledon and an incredible season of incredible performance, then it was time for me, Desiree Dubonnet, for me to go to Monaco. Here I am in Monaco. And for me to work with Novak directly. I started working with him and teaching him how to use the skio On his emotions. Functional electrical impedance tomography by evoked response. Or as I call it, peeping tom. <laughs> My portal into the mysterious minutiae of human emotions. Emotions that for the very first time we can separate, specify and quantify. To be able to quantify, be able to understand more about the body electric, the body emotional, body, mind and spirit, how the brain really does affect the body. And see, the research has been showing us all of this. And the new body viewer, the connections of the emotional body, along with the brain, the acupuncture, the spine, the blood system, all of this coming together. And truly, big minds see technology as an opportunity where small minds are afraid of new technology. They fear it. But small minds give incredible resistance to powerful great spirits, and the device had to be put down by many people and silenced. Fight for freedom to choose our medical treatment is a constant battle. Fight for freedom of choice in medicine goes on. Yes, here I am, Desiree Dubonnet, fighting for freedom of choice in medicine, fighting for information, freedom. And joined with Rita, here we are. I'm here to help Desiree with all the angels to win against...